sitting courtside to the game she play. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. This is actually going to be a review on this full lace wig I ordered from AliExpress. So if you're not familiar with AliExpress, the best way I could describe it is, I guess it's pretty much just a collection of vendors. You could say it's kind of like Amazon. You can buy hair, you can buy accessories, you can buy clothes, shoes. You could probably buy electronics. I mean, anything you could really think of. So like I said, I did purchase this hair on AliExpress.com from a vendor named Diosa Hair Company. The wig did come in a box like this. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see, there we go. Diosa Hair, and it says 100% virgin human hair, and it's got the email down at the bottom. And then when you open the box, obviously the wig's not going to be in here because I'm wearing it. But the wig did come in a bag like this. I'm trying not to move around too much because this is my second time filming. Because the first time, the lighting, it didn't look bad, but it didn't look as good as I wanted it to. And I think it's because I was moving around a lot. So the wig came in a bag like this. And then the paper was just in the crown of the wig to keep it shaped. So it also came with a wig cap. And I'm wearing the wig cap. But the paper's on the floor and I don't want to get it because of the lighting situation I have going on. So I'm just going to put it somewhere up here, a picture of the wig cap that it came with. And then it also came with bobby pins. I'm going to put a picture of the bobby pins somewhere up here that it came with. So, okay, let's get into the details of the actual hair. This is a full lace. I'm looking here because I have um, the title and everything up on my MacBook just because I don't want to mess anything up. So this is a Diosa New Fashion 1B T4 T27. Those are the three colors. Three-tone ombre full lace Brazilian wavy wig. That's a lot. And it is also 14 inches. So if I were to straighten it, it'd come to like... Here, <laughs> you guys can see that. I don't know. Here we go. There. Something like that. So the lace color is light brown, capsized medium, wig cap glueless with baby hair. As far as density is concerned, when you're buying a wig, it does come in different densities. On this, this company in particular, I can't speak for any other company, but on this company, they offered 130 density, which is standard size, 150, 180, 200. 130 density, if that's what you want, you don't have to pay any extra money. 150 is 30 extra dollars. 180 density is 50 extra dollars. And I'm not too sure about 200 density, but I'll find it and I'll let you guys know. Had I stuck with this, the standard density, which is 130, I would have been paying 194, but I wanted to increase the density. If you don't know what density is, it's just the fullness or thinness of the hair. I wanted mine fuller, so I opted for 150, which brought the total to 224. Now, I was communicating with the seller, which by the way, he was really nice and he was responding really fast, and I just let him know, like, you know, this is my first wig. The only other wig I had was a uh, that um, synthetic half wig that I just went down the street and got from my from my beauty supply store. So I just let them know that I just want to make sure it's really full because, you know, it's short. And I feel like the shorter you go, the fuller it should be, kind of. So he actually offered to increase my density to 180 with no extra charge. So although I paid for 150 density, this, which, what you see here, is 180 density. And honestly... It's natural, and there's nothing wrong with natural, but I feel like I would want mine even fuller than this, so next time I would probably get 200. If you want something that looks natural, this is the perfect density for you. It looks really good. I just like over-the-top, extra dramatic hair. Now, from my understanding, the difference between a full lace and a lace front wig is that you know what, let me check my Googles first because I don't want to relay incorrect information. So hold on one second. Okay, so I was pretty much right. A full lace wig has lace around the front, like the perimeter area. So you could part it here or here, a middle part or whatever. But in the back, I believe it's just tracks going back and forth. So you can't really part it anywhere in the back, anywhere around here. Now, with the full lace wig, which is the one I'm wearing, it is someone has manually like threaded each strand onto the cap. So it's full lace all over, meaning if I wanted to part it down the middle, I could. Now, you guys probably can't see. I don't think you guys can see that well what I'm talking about. But just know I could part it 
anywhere that I want to and it's going to be lace. The knots on this did not come bleached and honestly it doesn't bother me. I guess if I were to want to you know do a whole bunch of different partings like down the middle or some up down, some down or something like that I would probably bleach the knots to make it look even more realistic but I'm probably just going to wear it. I'm probably just going to wear the standard middle part that it came with or maybe turn it into a side part or something like that. Nothing too fancy. Like I said before, this is my first wig and I feel like I was really hesitant to especially order off AliExpress because it is a hit or miss when you're ordering off there. I mean, I have had really good luck um, ordering hair. I've been ordering just regular bundles for a few years now, but with bundles, you only have to worry about if it sheds or tangles. I feel like that's pretty much the entirety of that. But when you're ordering a wig, not only do you have to worry about if it sheds or if it tangles, you also have to worry about if your cap size is going to fit. You also have to worry about if it's going to be the right density you want. And then when you're ordering color like this, you want to make sure it's the picture is exactly what you're going to get. You don't know how many times I've tried to achieve this blonde color myself by dyeing, um, my hair not my natural hair but just weaves and it never came out blonde it always came out caramel it wasn't ugly it just wasn't what i wanted but this color job on here is fantastic like what so it's like um natural brown and then it's like caramel i don't know if you guys can see it's caramel and then it fades to blonde I'm trying to get a good look and I don't have any hair outs, just my baby hair right there. That's what you see. And then all of this is a wig. So I don't even leave any of my edges out. I honestly feel like um, some people like to leave their frontal, uh, frontal or wig, whatever, further back. And then have natural hair all here. But I feel like it looks more realistic when there's not much of a contrast it's just your baby hair and then the wig you know what i mean is that making sense i hope so it right, did come body wave but i did notice that the curls dropped kind of quickly so i figured okay well maybe i can just wet i kind of just wet like a piece to test it to see if it'll curl back up and it didn't really curl back up really kind of was just it wasn't bone straight, but it definitely didn't wave back up like I feel like it should have. But that's not a big problem because I own a curling iron. And if I want to curl it myself, I can. And then just um, pin it up at night just to keep the curls. So this right here is actually the result of me going back in and wanding the hair. But this is just how it looked right out of uh, the box. And I'll put a video here somewhere of how it looked straight out the box. I also do want to add that this hair is extremely soft. I actually think that this is the softest hair I've actually received. I mean, like, even my bundles were never this soft. And it's not thin at all, guys. It's just, it's natural. And it, it looks really good. I'm not disappointed with this wig at all. It's just, I like big, big, big hair. Like, go hard or go home, you know? But because it is not as full as I would like, I will probably keep it curled because and I'll probably even go in with an even smaller barrel and do um, little mini spiral curls because if this is the how full the hair looks when it's curled it's gonna look even thinner when I straighten it obviously um, I also do want to add that as far as density goes I've uh, noticed that if I want to go back on their website and order a kinky curly wig I'm not gonna get a 200 density because that hair is already much bigger than this is this is more relaxed right so you also have to keep in mind the kind of texture you want if you want a silky straight wig yes go for a really high density to make it look more full but if you want a kinky curly wig I feel like you can straight towards like the thinner side because it's going to be big regardless because it's kinky curly. I did order this hair April 27th and it arrived May 2nd. So only like five, six days, which is really fast considering it came from like China. Like it didn't just come from like up the street and around the block. It came from China and it came here in five days. The seller responded very quickly. I remember contacting him around 10 in the morning the day I purchased the hair and he responded within a few hours and he was really sweet. This wig did come with a standard middle part. I requested a middle part. So I'm sure you could request either a middle part, side part, or no part at all. I can move mine to a side part, but 
I don't know, I'm feeling the, the middle part right now, but if I were to, you know, I would just pull it over and then, um, and then throw in some concealer to enhance the parting. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. And I didn't pluck the hairline or anything because, like I said, it's already not as full as I would like. And I feel like if I were to start plucking, it would thin it out even more. But honestly, because I'm only really going to wear it like this or maybe a side part or anything, I don't really need to pluck. If I do want to pull it back, I could easily just pull out some of my hair in the front and then blend it in. I mean, easy peasy. I'm so late to the game when it comes to getting into wigs. I feel like everyone owned a wig except me, but there was two reasons why I never wanted a wig. Because one, when I think of wig, I think of wiggish. By wiggish, I mean you look like you have a mop sitting on your head. And that's not cute. And two, because, well, I've never even gotten to a fight in my whole life. But I honestly feel like the one day I will walk out the house with a wig on, someone would run up on me in Target and like we'd have to fight and my wig will come flying off. This wig is not going anywhere. Like it's really on here. Like look, <sighs> wait, it's getting on my lip gloss. <laughs> there are two combs, one here, one here, and then one in the back. And then there's also an adjustable strap, you know, if it's too big or if it's too small. I think that covers my Dio Sahara review. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments below. Below. Uh, la 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 la. <clears throat> if you have any questions just leave them in the comment below and I will get back to you and I'm really happy that uh, I actually like this much as I do considering this is my first wig I really didn't have any high expectations at all because I figured like it's my first time I don't know what I'm doing it's probably gonna take me two to three weeks to figure out what I like and what I don't like but I love it all right guys so that concludes my Dio Sahara AliExpress review AliExpress Diosa hair. Alex Burton haven't come up with the title yet. But I hope I answered all of your questions. Also keep in mind that everything that I mentioned, all the specs details on this hair will be down below in the description box. So check that out as well. Alright guys, that concludes my video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.